It's me. Before I start reading from The Secret Diary, let's talk about seven things. See if I can name seven things. One, it's really hot. Two, I got sunburned again, so I retract my statement about not putting sunscreen everywhere. Just put it everywhere. I got burnt right here, where you could see where I slathered the sunscreen and missed this tiny patch right here. And it is singing. Um, three, I didn't post a video last Friday because my dog got stung by a bee and uh, her face puffed up real big and I had to bring her to the vet. But she'd already been at the vet that day to get her uh, big girl shots. And she, they told me to bring her back if she went puffy and had like an allergic reaction. So I didn't know if she was having an allergic reaction to the bee or to the shots. So I had to go back to the vet either way. And now she's doing a lot better, but it derailed my Friday entirely. Uh, what was that? Was that three or four? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get seven things. Four. Did I mention it's hot? Five. Hot. Six. Hot. And seven. Hot. Okay, let's open the diary! <laughs> I guess I only had three things to talk about. I don't know. Oh, I hate my hair. That was number four. I hate my hair right now, so be gentle. I really want to cut it, but I don't know who to trust to cut it. Not that I'm like super precious over my hair because I know that it's terrible, but um, yeah, I want to cut it and that's all. Boop, 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 boop. Where were we last time? Let's look at straight weight, some tangerines. All right. 25th of November, 1996. This time in a month, Christmas will be over. Oh, why am I worried about Christmas being over? It'll be Christmas day in a month's time. And then I wrote horrid thought and then I drew a little picture of myself next to what could be a Christmas tree and a little speech bubble that says no. 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 <laughs> uh, Mr. McCann never came to see me today. That was my guidance teacher, the one with the nuclear, like not with the nuclear bombs, but the one that wanted to talk about nuclear bombs. I am glad. So I'm glad I, I just didn't want to talk about it. Who, who does want to talk about anything? I won a gold star award in English because of my buddy project. No idea what my buddy project was, but I want a gold star. Well done me. It's nice that it was in English. Um, I was talking recently about how I'm kind of mediocre at a lot of things. I don't really excel at anything. I'm not like, what's the word? Like some kind of like genius at anything. I can just do a bunch of stuff. Mediocre. So yeah, I was mediocre in English, I guess too. In history, David C. was Henry VIII, and I was his second wife. Anne Billen? I wrote Billen. I, I guess the visual aid didn't teach spelling. Uh, I got, oh, Bolin. I was trying to spell Bolin and Bolin. I got beheaded anyway, obviously, because that's what Henry did. Uh, do, 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 do. Actually, that history teacher was one of the best history teachers in the world ever. He would do all these really cool like visual aid type things using people in the class. I remember when he taught um, the First World War, everyone was a country. And so as he was talking about each country's involvement, you had to stand at the front of the class and like just represent that country. And it kind of worked because, you know, you would remember things like, oh, this person was Russia or this person was Germany or this person was blah, blah, blah when you're doing the exam or the test or whatever. At interval, Mr. Hassett, that's the librarian, told Claire and Susan, Heather and Amanda, that he wasn't doing the mag anymore because there's too much arguing. Huh, the thought. Well, uh, I watched the end of Doctor Who at lunch. When was I watching Doctor Who during lunchtime? I would love to remember any of that. Don't remember any of that. Like, why was I watching TV during lunch? 
in Spanish, we have been told that if we misbehave tomorrow, oh boy, we will be in timeout. Everyone was stealing my pen, not fair. We had a test on human reproduction in science, hard. I will. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, little me, little tiny me, had no idea that that was a joke right there. We had a test on human reproduction, hard. The test was hard. Uh, at home, I practiced violin for ages. Ages was probably like 10 minutes. Let's hope she doesn't pull me up. As if playing violin was like some cho like I chose to do it. I chose to play violin. And yet I would always be like super put out if she was like, why didn't you practice? Come on, Becky. Oh, and then I drew some fingers. I drew some little fingers there. Going fingers crossed. Bye. Got reports out today. It was good. Really good. Go to the work clinic tomorrow. Uh, remember I told you I had tons of verrucas on my feet and I had to get them burned off every two weeks on a Tuesday. Boy, oh, boy, oh. Well, that's that one. Nice and short. Oh, so this week's lesson. Um, don't let your dog get stung by a bee. Um, and if she does bring her to the vet, I guess. That's a good lesson. Bye.